Hi everyone, I'm Kimberly. This is Sugar Glider Diaries. And today we're gonna talk about taking photos of your sugar gliders. So since I started my channel almost two years ago, I've had many requests of people asking me to show them how I take pictures of my gliders because I oftentimes use those photos on my thumbnail. And so people see those photos and they're like, oh my gosh, did you take those? Yada, yada, yada. So I wanted to come up with a couple options for you guys on how to take some great photos of your gliders or you with your gliders. You don't have to have a professional camera for either of these, although a professional camera or a camera that has a detachable lens, things that you can shoot in manual mode, that is gonna come in handy. Photoshop would also come in handy, but you don't actually have to have those things to implement the tips that I'm gonna go over in this video. The first way that you can take photos of your sugar gliders is you can prop up your phone close to a natural light source, so like a window. Uh, you don't want it to be super, super bright. Uh, you don't want your gliders to want to run away and hide. Uh, so you want, I always prop up my camera next to a natural light source. I have a big window in my living room. That's where I'm shooting right now. And I'm actually shooting on my phone. So I'm gonna show you what I do with my gliders. Set up your phone in a, uh, like I said, a good spot for natural light. You're going to have it be in selfie mode so you can see what your camera is seeing. This does lower the quality of the photo a little bit, uh, but I think that it's worth it because unless you're trying to blow these photos up to poster size, it doesn't really matter, especially if you can take them into a photo editing software. If you just want a cute photo to share on social media, this will be just fine. Set up your phone. Ideally, if you had a tripod, that would work. You can also prop it up on something. A uh, more flattering angle is gonna be if you have a nice tall thing and then your camera can angle slightly down towards you, that's gonna be a more flattering, slimming angle for most body types and most face structures. By the way, I have a photography business, if you didn't know that, like in my real life, not in my YouTube life. Um, so that's kind of where I'm coming from with some of these tips as well. <laughs> Once you do that, you're just gonna turn on your video you're actually gonna take a video instead of taking stills. Now, when you're doing that, you're gonna to wanna to try to hold still as much as you can. Keep in mind that you're looking at the little dot on your camera, not at the screen. So if you can see me right now, I'm looking at my phone screen. I'm looking at my face on my phone, but you're seeing that my eyes are actually not going towards where I want them to go for the photo. So you actually want to look at the little green dot on most cameras. I have an Apple, an, an iPhone. Uh, but if you look at the little green dot, that is where you're actually going to be making eye contact with your photo. So you want to keep your eyes on that little green dot. And if you have your gliders trained to stay on you, this will work great. If you don't, you might run into problems with this. Uh, have someone on standby ready to grab your glider if they jump off of you. You can do this in a room with natural light that is also glider safe. That would be the ideal situation. But yeah, keep do that at your own risk. I do have my gliders for the most part trained to stay on me. I take short videos of me posing as if it was a photo. That way, as your glider moves around, uh, and they, they obviously look around a lot. They don't st sit still, which is why it's so hard to get a good photo of these gliders. But if you do a video and then do screenshots of that video, then you're going to actually have a better chance of getting a good quality photo of you and your sugar glider. Take the video, they'll pause the video. You'll use your finger to scroll back and forth, find a picture that you like or still that you like and screenshot it. You're gonna to have to Google how to do those technical things if you don't know how to do them, but I'll show you the sugar glider part. So next, I'm gonna to talk to you about a technique that you can use with a uh, storage box. If you wanna do kind of like a soft box type photo shoot, and you can also do this if you just have like a flat surface. So you can do a photo shoot where you're shooting into a white box or you can do one where you're shooting overhead. So these photos that I'm gonna show you now were taken with a white storage bin that I used as kind of like a soft box. So when you use a white background like this, it kind of 
helps distribute light naturally. It's like a natural soft box look. He's gonna go down my shirt. Here go photos. So the photos you're about to see, I did take with my professional camera. You could do these with your phone, but keep in mind that you wanna have night, a lot of light um, it, because otherwise they're gonna be blurry because you really have to have a fast shutter speed, either on your phone or your camera. The other trick to getting these great pictures is to think through your props. So if you have like some, like a cute little uh, dish, like a little cup or something that your glider, your gliders wanna hide. So if you can give them something that also makes a cute photo for them to go into, and then when they pop their head out, take the picture. If they're in it and then you're looking over top of them and shooting down and they're looking up, that also makes a really cute photo. I wouldn't recommend doing like elaborate photoscapes where you're trying to get them to do a certain thing. Uh, a lot of times when I hear people talking about taking photos of their gliders, they're like, oh, that'd be so cute if I, you know, had this Christmas set up and they have a tree and then they have the, the Christmas present and they, they open the Christmas present and it has a treat in there. Like that's a great idea. It's super cute concept. It would probably make a really cute video or like a little TikTok video. Uh, but to get a still shot in just the right moment of that kind of thing, it's very difficult. I'm going to insert some pictures that I took uh, of my friend's gliders in this part of the video as well. We did one where it was like this little picnic setup with a uh, cute background. And it was, it's, you know, we got a couple really cute shots, but it was pretty difficult to get those shots. Whereas when you, if you just want like a cute picture of your gliders, you don't need a whole story behind it. Um, you're going to have a better chance of getting a bunch more pictures. Um, and then you also want to think about your background. If you don't have Photoshop, you want to try to have that background be not competing with your photo. So a neutral background, I think looks really nice. Um, a minimal amount of props. Uh, just play around with it. Like I said, only do this to your gliders or with your gliders for a few minutes at a time. Uh, so they don't get frustrated, you don't get frustrated, and make sure they're in a safe place so if they did run away, they're not going to get injured or hurt by other animals in the house. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you get some great photos of your babies, I hope that you will let me know in the comments below. Again, don't forget about my merch store that I have. Links are in the description box below, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hey everyone. Ooh, that was high pitch. Almost two, yeah. Yeah, almost two years ago. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm going to make, I'm gonna shoot some thump thump.